Well hello guys, um, this video is about uh, a new birth on the farm uh, but I'm going to show you this, this goat here first um, so I can explain a little bit that uh, the video that you're about to see is of a, a goat giving birth and all that entails in that which is a bit of blood and, and all the rest of it so I've put a warning up on the screen when that is about to be shown so please even if you're squeamish you can carry on and watch the video I've put a warning up on the screen and I should tell you when it's all over and it's only a few seconds. I just wanted to show this poor little girl that we called Susie, sick Susie, because uh, when we went to go and view the goats at the other guy's farm, we actually said we didn't want her. She looked hideous uh, and you could tell that the parasite count inside her was massive and technically by looking at her, her the colour of her eyelids, she should have been dead in a few days. but. He delivered her and then he offered her to us for nothing. In other words, he didn't want her to die on his farm. Uh, and I spent a good week with her, injecting her every day, which was extremely difficult because there was literally no muscle left on her skeleton. It was just flesh because you can see how skinny she is. The parasites are actually eating more food than she can consume. That horrible swelling on her face is a, it's a byproduct of the parasites and it's called bottle jaw and I've had to treat her every day uh, with vitamins, uh, mineral injections and antibiotics. And at the end of the video, you're going to see what she looks like today. So if you're interested, please hang around to the end of the video and see what she looks like today. Because we're very happy because she's a, she's a lovely goat. And that's where I injected her in, in there like that. Because there's no more of that triangular muscle left. That's bone there. That's bone. There's just a thin bit of muscle left in there. So I've injected the... Uh, antibiotics in there today and we've given her another 20 mil of wormer and we'll give her a vitamin B later on today so I hope you enjoy what's about to happen uh, we are uh, and we'll see you at the end of the video cheers Hold her, Molly. Hold her, Ali. Hold her. Not by her throat, around her chest. Hold her. Hold her. I, think it, I think it might be dead. I know, darling. You don't actually look ready for this. I think it might be dead. Hold her. No! Awesome. Quick, 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 quick. Quick. Camera. Don't need to towel. Straw. Mama. Oh. Under, 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 oh, under. Under, under. Under, It's your baby. It's your. It's your. Have you got it off of his nose? Is it recording, Mo? Yeah. Okay, well, it's all over. It's safe to look back at the screen now. Mum, such a tiny frame. Just the, the nose and the two front feet were sticking out. We got it out just in time. Oh, you little beauty. Come on, Mummy, you need to see your bubba. Because I don't think she knows no, she it's hers because she's not gone through the full birth. Come on, darling, this is yours. Sorry about the noise of all the chainsaws. Um, we've got guys up in the top of our land taking away all the burned trees that were burned in the fire last year. Um, and as none of this was planned, unfortunately, uh, the noise has remained. I've tried to remove it as best I can, but it's still there. See if we can get her inside and then we can leave her alone. 
Right, well I was up talking with those guys uh, cutting the burned trees down and uh, had absolutely no idea this was going on. Um, you'll hear Molly in a second sort of saying what had happened but uh, when I came back down the girl said the poor little goat was running around in the field screaming uh, and all that they could see were the, the two feet and the, the, the nose of the little baby goat sticking out of her and it was quite clear she wasn't going to pass it so uh, I jumped in and uh, well did what you've just seen. Molly just asked how did I do that? I said I don't know. <laughs> oh. Well, I've done it a few yeah. times for animals, With but... With sheep, yeah. But... Mm. No, it's normal. It's just from the umbilical cord, sweetheart. Mm. <laughs> for what, darling? Oh, for the shed. floor, yeah. I can hear a guy up there with a chainsaw, but I can't, um, I can't see it. You didn't take your phone with you, did you? Uh, Mum called you like four times, she was wolf whistling because she thought you were still up there. Because we knew it was going to happen, because she's proper, proper, ah, screamed. She yeah, she was like, and you could see her uh, widening to push. Norma was screaming as well while she was screaming. Because she doesn't like people. I know she doesn't. Which is why we're going to struggle a bit. So she, she likes us, but she's a bit nervous. And I don't want to make her run away by taking the baby in, but it's, the wind's very cold out here. And it's a little baby because mum's little. And she's inexperienced, so we really need to give her a bit of a hand. But this licking process is the, is the bonding. And if we break it too early, then she might reject the baby. She struggled. Milk had pushed them out like no one's business. Well, bigger, bigger goat. And she's had a few, I would have mm. thought. Oh, look at that shaking your ears. I think this is the biggest we've had out of the three new mums. Here's your good mama. She's my favourite. I don't know. Yeah, this is Sandra's favourite goat, the black one. <laughs> Side, mate, it's cold. Oh, yes, we don't know what it Come is on. yet. Mate, we don't know what it is. Well, that's true. What are you? Are you going to have done us really proud and given us a little girl? Have you? <coughs> yes! I think it's a girl. You think so? I, I think it's a girl. Been a little winky. Come on, darling. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. That's it, Mama. You cry, come on. baby. Rather, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. There we go. Now we can leave them to it, just like that. Hello. Hello. So this one is the first Mama. Hello. Hello crazy thing, that's three days old <laughs> and it's and it's mad already and that's her mum behind her, the size of mama's milk, Yeah. that's why we call her milker, isn't it? <laughs> A carbon copy of mum. Oh dear. What's happened on my farm? Have well, I got another baby? Yes. Yes, Jeffrey, you have another baby. Number the chickens. The baby. chickens come in, every new baby. This one's really trying to yeah. And this mother went out, bad mother. She actually left and left this baby in the shed. And when we came in, the chickens were sitting with it. Hello, little one. 
Hello. Come on. Hello. Ah, oh, very friendly. <laughs> and this one comes in and checks every single baby that's been born don't you you yeah, are a, the first mum yeah. on the farm she's, she's a funny girl it's like she's a, a nanny she comes in and checks on them all doesn't always do her any good because the mothers give her a hiding but don't they no she's kind of trapped in here but milk is a big goat she's more of a small horse than a big goat. <laughs> little baby's been trying to escape for the past two days now and has it trying to get out well you can go outside i, know, I just need to sort one. well i need to lift the ramp back up so they can get out we've adjust the pallet at the doorway there that the mother stood on so uh if it's like that then the babies can't get out and once they're old enough we can lift it up and they can come out but this isn't their permanent home anyway it's well, it is the chickens isn't it still yeah. going to be for the chickens once we've got the the goats away from here and built their new home we're going to stock up with more chickens and uh, turkeys and ducks and ducks and some quails but i don't fancy any guinea fowl because they're rather noisy birds yeah we had some guinea fowl and they were oh they made a racket <laughs> You put her out if you want. I'm gonna. Yeah, go on. She's a strong baby. She'll be absolutely fine out there in that. Yeah. Oh, look at that! First time outside. Apart from the day she was born. <laughs> well. It was a bit cold that day. Yeah. No, now she's uh, three days old and not wet. Yeah, and the sun's warm today. Hello, ladies. I believe Flo is one of the next ones. Yeah. She has a back like a tabletop. Yeah. You see how wide, well, well looks very dark in here, but I think it might be alright in the video. Oh, Norman jumped over the fence, did he? You can open that up again now, Mo. Not Norman, Jeff. Jeff, sorry, I keep <laughs> calling him Norman. It's the name of our old ram. the field feed bucket there for them. Why is that there? Good girl Milka. Good girl. Good girl. Hello Norman. Norman. Yeah. Jeff. Sure I'm going senile. Look at those feet you got there big boy. Hmm? Stay nice, you stay nice, Jeff. See, we don't want to fight with you, mate. He's a good boy. You are, for a buck, you're actually a lovely buck. Or in Portuguese, bod. You need to grow that beard, eh? I was going to say, I think mine's slightly more impressive, and that's saying something. Oh, it's dead nice. Oh, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Oh. Uh, doesn't she look better? Hey, look at that, full of energy. How much better you look, Susie. I hope you can see the difference in her from when we uh, had her in the video footage you've just seen. 
totally different goat. And here they are, a couple of days later. Baby and mum doing really well. These are Mercianas. She's just a tiny frame. She's got to be... I reckon she's close to a year old. So these are two little boys that we've had born from Dobby, the mother goat. And we have been bottle feeding them to just give mum a bit of help. Yeah, she's not been great, has she? But they are very friendly little boys. Yeah, because Molly's been bottle feeding them uh, two to three times a day. Well, I think you can see they're, they're quite happy in human company. Yes, very happy. Well, all our goats are like that, yeah. aren't they? But when you come up here, these two run to the gate when they see the bottle bag. <laughs> <laughs> so there is also another great YouTube channel here, Luke and Sarah's Off-Grid Living, I do believe. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. And we've offered them one of our boy goats. And um, due to the pandemic, and them being in a different municipality they're legally not allowed to come over so i thought it would be easier for you guys to choose one by video these are two little boys this one here is lighter and this one here is darker but they're very friendly little Ooh. boys <laughs> on the other side of the fence so hello little man hello oh look you can tell he's being bottle fed yeah and this one <laughs> they look almost identical anyway yeah. don't they just one has a lighter face than the other but they're both very very yeah. sweet <laughs> and because sarah's um going into hospital which i'm sure if any of you follow their channel we wish you all the best of luck with everything that's going on there and we're more than happy to keep uh one of these babies for you until you're uh, you're ready to take them because we know you said you're not really ready for goats yet but as you can see, these two aren't going to cause you any problems. Thanks very much. Look, <laughs> hey. So the milk you had this morning. You had about three bottles. <laughs> so, Luke and Sarah, I hope you can decide which one you want. <laughs> They're very cute, and it will be very difficult to decide which one of these little guys you would like. But wait. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you back here next week. There she is, doing so well two days old and outside and walking around so that was that was luck we saved her and this one here is ooh, how old's the bigger black one two months she was born on the 5th of November, yeah she was born 5th of November and this is the one you saw minutes ago stuck inside mother so Sandra would have been heartbroken if we'd lost that one. There. And Diane. And we named you Diane because there's a lovely lady that uh, is an experienced goat keeper that's a, a friend of ours we've made out here and she's been helping us with a lot of information and things and uh, so that's Diane oh look and she's feeding from mum brilliantly that's awesome to see so anyway it's only meant to be a short little video it's ended up at about 15 16 minutes I think uh, so I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you didn't find it too uh, squeamish but unfortunately that's part of farm life and uh, Sometimes you have to sort of do things you don't really want to do to, uh, well, for the, the better ending really. If we'd left this little one any longer, we probably would have found her dead uh, through poisoning. Because if the, the fetus dies inside the mother, I'm sure you can all imagine what would happen. So uh, if anybody thinks I was scaring the goat by trying to catch it, uh, just think what would have happened if I'd left it and I'm sorry I'm not I'm not going to do that to my animals I, I love my animals so anyway let's uh, see you in the next video take care everybody